guys, so today, oh, oops, <sighs> it's being silly, okay, this is my turtle necklace that my dad and possibly my mom bought me at a flea market, or a flea thing that went on, you know, this flea store, like, flea, like, marketing thing where it's like huge everything's outside and it's like all this awesome stuff yeah got this for me and a mood ring and these i believe that this was the last thing my dad got me before he died and so it's very special to me and it's like a good luck charm when i wear it so yeah um today i'm going to be actually reading some journal entries from the past and i think that would be stellar because I made a video probably a week ago or so, um, yeah, talking about it. Oh, oops, I just touched my hair, I put a hairspray in it, so now it's gonna be like, you know, like all clumpy or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm reading some journal entries just to kind of, just to kind of explain what happened and some thought patterns and things that I picked up, not patterns, but things that I picked up that like could probably draw some interest if you would probably be interested in it so yeah let's get started um okay i'm starting off this is my big journal i have mold binder and this is my uh my personal one um, currently, and then this is my composition notebook. I sometimes write in, but this was during treatment. Okay. So, February 14th, 2014. I wish my mom and people I know in real life would encourage me to leave because I can't do it alone. I need help. I need someone to make me feel less bad about killing myself. I can live the way I do. I don't live right. I don't do anything right. I have one friend. I am such a loser, as Kyle said. I need to stop being so self-absorbed, as my mom said three years ago. I would have went with my dad. I should have went with my dad. Even though I won't feel anything after death, it's way better than the pressure of being perfect and know how to correctly fucking fucking act in this world and how the fuck to talk to people and not be seen as a motherfucking selfish eating ugly fat nasty girl with a nasty ugly motherfucking red face with zits zits and ugly chubby cheeks and absolutely disgusting and shameful thighs and no motherfucking waste and it's funny because in mother i had a p instead of an o because i was like writing in caps and yeah, for that part. So caps, hair falling out. No fucking goddamn in life do I have. And then it's back to normal. Everyone needs to leave me so I have no reason to live anymore. I put, I put myself through torture because I know I deserve it. When I am too kind to myself, I start to realize again how that is absolutely on call for and I am not supposed to be my friend. I'm supposed to kill myself, murder my soul, break down OD, damn useless, ugly heart. Oh, break my own OD, damn and useless, ugly heart. I wonder why I meant by it, OD. Oh well probably odd it's like this bully is coming out of me and bullying me but it is me and i'm slowly killing myself as i say these things about myself i saw because they hurt of course i believe them and i deserve to suffer if i think i don't deserve to suffer then i am too innocent a little part of me tried to save myself but then the nasty side comes and takes my happiness away i told my friend i have a headache from crying and i am annoyed at myself for telling her i shouldn't tell anyone 
Oh, headache from crying. That's interesting. How I get headaches from crying or have in the past. Yet, I'm making this post. I can't keep this all in. Then hashtag personal. Hashtag lol. It would be so funny if I died. Hashtag caps. Ha 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 ha. And then hashtag. This is caps. All caps. Loser lol. Hashtag die fucking bitch stop ruining others other people's lives and eating all their food you selfish whore and i have another journal entry okay i'm not reading everything in here like before i made this video i actually um like starred and highlighted something so i know like what i'm doing and so it's not like all disoriented and disorganized because that's kind of how i am so yeah okay February 27th, 2014. I had a dream last night. I was in the high school and getting things from my locker and this blonde girl was sneering at me and pointed towards me. Her, uh, her guy friend looked at me. They both stared in disgust. I glared at her like a demon. What? I asked. Why are you staring at me? Look at you. You're disgusting. You ask too many questions. You need to change. You're pathetic. I say, okay, well, what do I need to do? What do I need to change about myself? I asked. To start off, your hair is gross and your skin makes me want to barf. Take better care of it. You're so awkward and you need to lose weight a lot. And you're so short. You're a stick. No curves. Just a fat, just fat. A big blob of fat. What do you mean about my body? She looked me up and down in disgust. You have no waist. Your thighs are goop. You have no structure. It's disgusting. Wow, I feel bad for you. You're nothing. She walks away. I agree with everything she tells me. Okay. Man, there's so much more things I just want to read, but like, maybe another time, maybe. Okay. okay. April, this is actually the last journal entry that is in this binder um, until I get back from treatment, so. And I was still impatient at this. I mean, outpatient, like I'm not, I wasn't even in like a facility, you know what I mean? Okay. April 29th, 2014. Last night I was sad. My mom didn't say she loved me and I confronted her about it and laughed. I never said I loved her last night. Not after today. She's horrible yelling at me for not even eating her stupid fattening scalloped potatoes. I'm glad I only had one bite. She never even saw me eat any of it. She's like, this is not for you. This is not for you. It's mine. I knew she threw up and told her about it. I did not just throw up. That's what she said. I tell her to come with me to the restroom and she ignores me. I take pictures of the obviously thrown up into a toilet and show Kara. <laughs> and I still have it, I think, on my flash drive. So that's kind of, yeah. She says, how can you be hungry for two servings of potatoes when you're making two boxes of mac and cheese? Mom, you know I'm not going to eat all this, right? She's so dumb. That's what I wrote. She's so dumb. I believe it. She's like, I believe it when I see it. Like that's how she talks. When my face does that, it makes me think like I look like her, and I'm just like, ah, no, no. Fuck my mom. That fucking whore wouldn't even give my boyfriend a ride home. I never asked, and she yelled at me to come back here right now. 
fucking ugly asshole. It was raining hard, hailing. Fuck her. Fucking bitch. She can go die. Ah ha 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 ha. So funny. At least I didn't end my night in a binge. However, I did find myself shoving food into my face like a ravenous pig. Didn't purge. I'm pretty sure it was broccoli because I remember this. Passed out. Oops. I'm shaking now. Bad. I blocked Nate. I blocked Nate's number. Fuck him. That ass. I hate that I've gained weight, that my dad isn't here, that my mom hates me, that I'm a horrible girlfriend, that I eat so much, that I'm fat, that I'm gross, that my legs are gross again, even more gross. Ew. Fucking pig. Fucking fat ass. Fucking loser. Fucking deserve nothing but death. LOL. I remember writing that. Honestly, the only person keeping me here is Nigel, my boyfriend at that time. And this is sophomore year. And we dated for about two months. I hate people. I hate everything. God, if I died, it wouldn't even be bad. Then there wouldn't be so much fucking food going gone. Goodness, so many entries. And we're already at 11 minutes, so I'm going to make it part two. Because I need to. Well, actually, no, I'm just going to read this one because I keep going because I can upload it. And yeah, okay. April 15th, 2015. Finally, this is where I come back and say what happened and how I ended up inpatient. So here's my story from when I left off. I'm sorry I stopped journaling. I noticed I got worse the more time went on without journaling. So Nathan and I stopped having sex. I knew he was using me the whole time, but I didn't care. He's got a large package and I didn't mind. He kept asking if I wanted it, hang out, and I said no. I knew he was just a big dick. I was tempted to, but when Nigel started talking to me, I had no desire in Nathan. He was a thing of the past. Well, that feels good to say. <laughs> I was binging and purging three to six times a day. I was getting most of my binge food from the school. Mac trigger warning for binge people and people who are too hungry right now and probably want to like eat the whole kitchen and throw up. This is a trigger warning because I'm listing like a crap ton of food right now. Okay. Macaroni and cheese, ravioli, oatmeal, peanut butter and jelly, soup, goldfish, fruit snacks, anything you could think of. Sometimes when my mom went to work early in the mornings, I'd get up and cook a feast. Two grilled cheese sandwiches, tomato soup, a peanut butter jelly sandwich, and cereal. I'd have black coffee all throughout the morning and maybe a donut when Mr. Muller brought donuts for the class. Sometimes I'd have two and run to the bathroom to purge. I just said the last whatever, it doesn't matter. I wait for lunch and binge and purge. I'd wait for lunch and binge and purge. I eventually was strong enough to not eat anything after purging, which is bad because your electrolytes get really screwed up and you actually pee out a lot of your electrolytes, which include magnesium, potassium, calcium, sodium. Not much sodium though. I don't think you don't have to worry about that, honestly. The only time you'd have to worry about that is if you're drinking a ton of fluids and um there's, a, there's actually a medical term for it. it's like sodium something or it's like it sounds like a psychological thing but it's not um yeah and it's bad when you don't have enough sodium like in you but like you don't have to worry about sodium like don't do it because if you like i used to drink there was a time i actually drank salt water legitimately after purging and then Joy Ruby on Instagram told me like everything about how don't do that because it is, it's bad. <laughs> okay. Um, where was I? Okay. Orange juice and an apple became my breakfast. After school, I'd race home and binge on anything I could find. It was all a blur. Sometimes I'd order pizza. Usually two larges. Uh, I feel like I'm not showing my face enough. Like, I'm like that, and it's, like, boring, whatever. Okay. 
Sometimes I'd order, I'd order pizza, usually two larges, and finish them in four hours. Mom would be mad at me. I couldn't help it. Come home, turn on the burner, cook pasta, microwave ramen noodles, dish out some ice cream, devour cookies, purge, starve for an hour or two, hour or two, binge again. Oh, it's too high now. Okay. <laughs> After a while of Nigel and I talking, I didn't feel the need to binge. I went over to his house one day. We were sitting on the soda. I like how I put soda, but I meant sofa. Legs be, like, I would just make typos on accident and then I'd be like, wait, that's cute. Let's keep that there. Like that's a new, like, whatever. Um, we were sitting on the soda, legs beside one another sofa, holding hands. He kissed me. It got to six and I had to leave. I was incredibly happy and had money in my pocket. On my walk home, I went to Taco John's and ordered three bean burritos. I ate them on the way home. I stopped to heave halfway through. When I got home, I ate more and purged. Like, that's awesome. Like, how I, I'm so, I don't know. Um, how I just like did that, like, handled everything so nicely sophomore year and had a boyfriend and was okay and ha with having one because I wasn't now I have anger issues well like frustration stressing stuff so it's I can't I, I, I can't be in a relationship like sex yes I can do that but no relationships because I get too happy and it's not good typically the more we talked, the less I binged, the happier I got. Okay, the more it's, the, the more we talked, the less I binged, the happier I got, the more weight I lost. I felt absolutely blissful. Everything was perfect, but mom was mad at me. She was always mad at me for something, and I never knew what I did wrong now. I began to stay up late till two or four in the morning, cleaning with my bare hands and organizing. That actually got cracked. Excuse me. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> okay. I'm purposely weird, so. And organizing. One night, I stayed up the whole night. My arms were shaking, like, I like that. I could see that my elbows were larger than my arms. You know, like this thing right here. Okay. I spent two hours getting ready for the day on zero sleep and had a shit ton of coffee. I made my mom breakfast and she didn't eat it. She ignored me. She was mad at me that I was up. Um, when, she, when she left, I ended up eating it and purging i was still shaking profusely i could barely stand i texted shane explaining of why i was so late as i walked to school i started hyperventilating and crying i was crying things like i don't want to die i'm going to die no 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 tally asked me if i was okay and i said i wasn't Sorry. You know, I lost my place. Okay. Lots of people saw and heard me. I'm sorry. I'm just wondering, like, there's a smell or not. There's a smell. I'm just gonna read this. No. I'm 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 being distracted, okay? <laughs> um Lots of people saw and heard me. It was extremely embarrassing. I went into Shane's office, this is all at school, and he helped me calm down. I took a nap. The panic attack reoccurred throughout the day. When I went to print something out, Nathan saw me and looked at me like I was crazy. I looked dead. My eyes were all puffy. That night, I went to Nigel's friend's house and we cuddled. He walked me home. 
I was stumbling because I was so exhausted. We were joking about having sex at the stadium. When we got home, he and his friends left. I put orange fiber powder into a can of mixed fruit metamucil. Sweetened with Splenda because calories and went to bed. I kept the windows open and fresh air breezed into my room. When I woke up, it was perfect. I was empty and cold. It felt perfect. I weighed 93 pounds. Marissa and Nigel started talking again and she told him how she still loved him. Note they dated a year. They, there was like a year between when we and him dated and she actually told him that she had to in his room whilst we were dating and they started dating behind the back and we were still together and yep it's funny on her birthday he chose to smoke weed instead of being with her and he was pressuring her not having sex and she didn't want to and she broke up with him so that is pretty funny i mean to see how he treated her when he loved her. Which is really sad because I care about her and she's gorgeous. But. Okay, Lauren, shut up and just read it. <laughs> I'm getting tired. Like, I'm yawning and I'm hungry. And it's 21 minutes, for goodness sake. Like, I spend so much time rambling and whatever. <laughs> At least I'm making videos again. Like, I've wanted to for a long time. Mm -hmm. Okay, remember that one video I made in a while, a while ago? I forgot what it was called. I relapsed, and it was like... Like, that was, a, that was a freaking screen. Like, the thumbnail. And I was thinking, what if that's, like, the thumbnail? Like, what if I can get that? Like, it did it already. Like, it was literally one of the choices. So, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I have to do this. Like, just to be, like... <laughs> okay. He stopped talking to me. I started binging and purging again. I was up to five days without binging and purging. I was binging on more than I ever have. He broke up with me and left me with my eating disorder. I had panic attacks all the time, but the more I binged and purged, the less panic attacks I'd have. During the summer, I got a job as a cashier at a grocery store. I started writing bad checks on mom's account and she found out. I kept doing it. I needed the food. I owed mom and Lance $300. I started restricting again, only binging on 1,000 calories. I stopped binging and purging for three days. I remember I was doing 10 things at once. Oh. Okay. I could never finish anything because I'd get distracted. I left things around the house, making it a mess. I went two days without a shower. I saw spiders and tiny insects in the basement. To this day, I don't know if what I saw was real. I saw little white bugs in my room. I thought lice were on everything. Note that I didn't know exactly what lice was, but it's pretty much house mites and stuff that I was seeing. Even though you can't see, you know what I mean, like something that is re relative to that. I couldn't even sleep in my own bed because I thought lice was there and everything and being at home my skin was really itchy like now like at night when I start to sleep like my skin gets like it feels like things are biting me and stuff and I actually have like these things and ah making me kind of wonder but read Lauren Hurry up. I'm tired. It's getting hard for me to talk. I couldn't even sleep in my own bed. Again, I stayed up all day. That night, I finally took a shower for an hour or two. I didn't know what the hell I was doing, but it sure took a while. My mom came in at 4 a.m. furious. She told me to get out, but I couldn't because I was embarrassed. I fixed the shower head. She broke it. I looked down at my legs and they were blue and purple and bruised. I looked and felt like a ghost, like I died. 
The next day, I could see lice in the air. Misty, white, cloudy. I tried to vacuum everything. The house was infested with spiders, bugs, and lice. And yes, there are spiders and bugs in our house. So that was not like a hallucination. I put on my sweatpants. And actually, I have spider bites and stuff. So from the summer, from being in my bed. And no, it's from my bed. So, you know, I'm not crazy just because I know a crap ton about science and my mom doesn't. Okay, yep, the next day I could see lice in the air. I tried to vacuum everything. The house was infested with spiders, bugs, and lice. I put on my sweatpants and they were baggy as hell. My leopard slash cheetah print gray ones. I felt skinny. I felt light. I had on layers of tank tops and a corset. That day I took another shower because my body had red spots and I felt like I was being eaten alive. I was cleaning with mixed chemicals with my bare hands. I was getting really sick. I didn't eat anything that day. Wasn't able to even finish my, wasn't even able to finish my coffee. I eventually took a shower right when my brother came home. I could feel the bugs in my hair. They were coming out of my head. I'm sorry about this yawning and stalling and stuff. I was crying that I was going to die and that I had lice. Lance busted through the locked door and called mom. He told her what was going on and she told him to take me to the hospital. Um, I couldn't stand properly. I had my eyes closed because I, would wear, I was worried the bugs would get into my eyes. He got me some clothes and I could barely put them on. I lost my balance. Every minute felt like an hour. I was dying, like literally, like time slows down and speeds up for me. We went to the car and he told me to hold on to his shoulder. I couldn't walk. When we arrived to the hospital, he told me to run. I'm running as fast as I can. I can't, I said. I couldn't run. He picked me up and carried me. When we got to the ER, I was talking very loudly. I told them about the bug, but no one would believe me. I was admitted to behavioral health, stayed there for a month. I was finally getting better and I liked my body. They thought I was still crazy and sent me to HSC. I got fat there, 86 pounds to fucking 113. I now and 119.8 after two additional facilities. Note my highest weight is 120.6, which was somewhere along this line of this time period um, after being discharged from Fargo. Nothing has helped. This will always be with me. I binge and purge three to five times a day and I started writing checks again. I look disgusting. And that was junior year and I'm not going to read it anymore because that's pretty much all I needed to say. Um, oh. Ah, uh, there's one more, but you know what? Eh, I'm gonna save it because this is getting too long. So, anyways, why is it all like not bright anymore? Eh, whatever. Um, so thank you for watching this video and for how hysterically long it was. So, yeah. I will see y'all later actually I won't well I see your faces and stuff when you like comment but like I usually like sum them up thumbs them up if I read them because I because I want them to know like I read them you know and not like like I'm like oh yeah like yeah so it is Friday and the sun is so pretty outside I kind of want to go outside but it's cold oh my gosh whatever um so yeah I will end this video now. Hopefully you all will have a happy Halloween and everything goes fine. So yeah, bye.